Hi, my name is Ashish, and in this video, we will discuss policy management in Microsoft Defender for Cloud Apps. I'll just quickly log on to the portal, and we'll take it from there. Okay, I'm logged on to the portal. So, when you are at security.microsoft.com, scroll down to Cloud Apps, and under Policies, you will see Policy Management. So, when you are on this screen, you will see User Scope. To session policies will join a smooth user experience when browsing an edge. They may face slight experience changes when accessing your browser's work profile for the first time. So these are the notifications. If you don't want to read them, just cancel them. So what does these policies do? Policies will allow us to define the way we want our users to behave in the cloud. They enable you to detect risky behavior violations or suspicious data points and activities in your cloud environment. If necessary, you can integrate remediation workflows to achieve complete risk mitigation. There are multiple types of policies that correlate to the different types of information we want to gather about the cloud environment and the types of remediation actions we may want to take. For example, if there is a data violation threat that we want to quarantine, we need a different type of policy in place than if you want to block a risky cloud app from being used by the organization. Now you see uh, threat detection policies, information protection, conditional access, shadow IT and all policies. So different requirement would lead us to use a different set of category of the policy that is available on this portal. Now let, let's say I want to talk about first of all this threat detection category. So I want to so there is an activity policy under threat detection category which will allow us to enforce a wide range of automated processes using the app provider's API. These policies will enable us to monitor specific activities carried out by the various users or follow unexpectedly high rates of a certain type of activity. So under threat detection if I go suspicious inbox manipulation rule this policy profiles your environment and triggers alerts when suspicious inbox manipulation rules are set on a user's inbox. And these are all active uh, policies if you see here. I'm sorry I just clicked on active. Okay, these are all active. Now if I click on disable. These are disabled policies. Okay, let me go back to active policies under threat detection category. If you click on this policy, scope is all users. And if not, now, if I want to send an alert, I can mark the ID here. Who will receive, who will receive the specific alert notification if this is violated? And these are the governance actions. You just enter the email address and click on update, and you are good to go. Do that. I will go back to policies. Same way, I will check it out. I will check information protection in the policies category. I will click on it. This policy is an imported subset rule of Microsoft Information Protection Policy. And what does it do? It will apply to all the users, selected users and groups, inspection method, data classification service. And these are the alerts. This is a custom notification message. If I want to forward it to, it's okay to contact me about this alert and then click on submit. Wonderful. Go back to policies again. I'll check conditional access policies here. There are no policies defined under conditional access which are active by default. So let me see if what all. Uh, Options do I get? So this is the policy that I am conditional access policy not found. Conditional access policies are required for cloud apps, security policies to work. I think I this is okay. I don't have any apps deployed with conditional access app control. That is why I'm not getting it. So what I will do, I will use threat detection category. I 
and I will use an existing policy and I can edit this policy. I was adding it. And I will, if I want to create a new policy, I'll just go to all policies, create policy. I will have a policy template here which I don't have uh, earlier it was an option okay let me create an activity policy here okay here I'm the, this portal has a change a little bit so policy template I'll use an existing uh, template so if I don't want to use a template, that is okay. If I want to use a template, then log on from a risky IP address. So this change will override all existing values in this policy. So, okay. I have created an activity policy and I have used a log on from a risky IP address policy template. So by default, it's under, under threat detection category. Act on a single activity or I want to act it on a repeated activity let's say minimum repeated activities are five within time frame of 30 minutes found only unique target files or folders per user or i want to observe this under a single app these are the alert settings these are the activities matching of all the following and these are the governing actions and you will create a policy and you will see that in the policy section that you have created Let's see if I see it on the top. I see it. Now, by default policies, if you go to threat detection, you can delete this one as well because you created. Are you sure you want to delete this policy? Policy reports based on this policy will be deleted and when this task will not be formed that's okay or not you delete this policy okay now if you go to threat detection let me just click it I should see the default ones that I was seeing before I might have clicked on something wrong uh, incorrect option you don't have to refresh the page every time I delete A newly created policy. Why am I not seeing it? Select this category, the detection, active, information protection. Why are there no policies? Okay. I'll pause the video and come back to see what went wrong. Okay, it all came back. I don't know what happened. So, if you see the uh, by default policies, you don't get an option to delete, but you get an option to edit and disable the policy, and that policy will show up in the disabled section. All right. Good. So, I hope this was informative for all of you guys. If you do not have, uh, if you have any further queries, please mention them in the comment section. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Have a good day.